So I'm sitting here at Hotel Atheron with uh, Angelos Iatridis. Sorry. Angelos Iatridis from Alpha Wine East Age, which is located in uh, a village called Pantelaimon. Agios Pantelaimon. Agios Pantelaimon. Yes. Near Amindion. Exactly. And uh, where is that? Uh, that uh, so uh, is uh, located in northwestern Greece, uh, in a region called Florina. Yes. Uh, we are located uh, close to the uh, uh, border with Albania and Firum, former Yugoslavia Republic of Macedonia. Mm -hmm. So it's a viticultural region. It's a, this is an appellation region, and uh, uh, the name of appellation is Amindon. That's the region. The region. Yes. And the name of the appellation also. Right. Start by telling us a bit about your winery, your vineyard. You know, my, I'm studying theology in Bordeaux. I worked in France for many mm -hmm. years, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit in Italy. I, I came back in uh, Greece. So with my partner, Marcus Mavridis, we joined, joined our passion about wine. He's in viticulture. He's a third generation of viticulturists. Uh, but you're a first generation. Uh, I am first generation first. of winemaker, yes. Yeah. So uh, uh, I'm not living here, I'm not living in Amindion, but uh, I, my choice is to be here for, because I believe th that uh, it's a great, really great region for making great wines. Wh why do you think it's such a great region? Uh, because, uh, you know, I worked as a consultant, yeah. a w uh, enologist all over Greece, yeah. And my choice is to make my investment investment here, and uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, cultivated my passion here. So uh, be, I believe that the microclimate, the the soil, the people, the the, the vines uh, gives uh, great fruits, great berries, and help me a lot to make my uh, dreams come true. Yeah. Uh, when did you start your winery? I'm starting uh, 1997, but uh, the whole idea starting uh, uh, 1992 when I've met with my partner. Right. And so uh, I plan everything from the alpha to omega. Uh, uh, and yes, uh, but your first wines came to the market in 2007? Uh, two, two, uh, 2003. 2003, okay. 2003. Sorry, I missed. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is uh, a big, uh, you know, uh, come from a big effort yeah. from uh, make a, here our, uh, let's say, uh, implantation of vines yeah. and uh. Uh, uh, re, re, uh, re regenerate the uh, the appellation of Amidion because at that time it was just the cooperatives and. Uh, uh, I'm trying to make you know uh, the whole potential of the re of the region come come true. Come. Yeah. So were you the first private wine winemaker? Uh, yes. So make this uh, investment. Yes, we are the first. Yes, the first. So what uh, kind of uh, grapes have you planted? What kind of wines do you make? Our main variety is Xinomavro, which is a Greek uh, regional yeah. variety. Uh, Xinomavro. Xinomavro means Xino sour Mavro black Xinomavro. Uh, so uh, it's uh, stylistically it's close to Nebbiolo, uh, but it's uh, totally different. You know, it's uh, as a DNA, you know, yeah. uh, uh, genes. And uh, I believe that uh, Xinomavro has a great potential for aging, but it's a very difficult variety uh, to be grown. Uh, have many difficulties in uh, in the viticulture uh, things, but also in uh, winemaking. Why is it difficult? What because is this is a late harvest, and here is a mountainous region, is a plateau region. Yeah. The elevation here is 650 uh, to 700 uh, meters of altitude. Yes. So uh, it's uh, it's a late harvest period, yeah. and you have to uh, take care of uh, yeah. whatever is close to October. It's it's a spectacular region. When we drove here earlier today, we were over 1,200 meters. Yes. Very beautiful. Yeah. So how do you do? Um, what do you need to do to make Xinomavro a successful wine? Because some of the wines we have tasted in Greece are very 
uh, let's say, strong, very tannic. Rustic. Tannic. Rustic, yes. Yeah, sometimes. What you need to do to make it successful? You, you know, m my approach to Xenomavro is a little bit different. I believe that Xenomavro of Amindion, which is which is a different region than Nausa, yeah. uh, has a great potential for giving much more uh, aromatic wines and much more delicate uh, structure. So I believe that if you uh, handle the Xenomavro gently, especially uh, especially in, uh, in the in, in, in the field in the in, uh, uh, in the vineyard uh, but uh, also in the winemaking because our choice for winemaking is to making the half of Xenomavro as a carbonic maceration and the other half as a uh, mm -hmm. normal uh, uh, red vindication with cold soak. So I believe uh, uh, this way we try to uh, avoid the aggressive structure tannin yeah. of the Xenomavro and uh, give them a lot of the potential aroma uh, that exists in Xenomavro. So that brings out much more fruit exactly, than the aroma. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Do you uh, do other wines than Xenomavro? Yes, we have uh, Syrah. Uh, Syrah gives in my opinion, an excellent typicity in the region. Mm -hmm. I believe the fresh, the cooler, the cooler climate. The climate here is uh, semi-continental. Gives the Xenoma a, a great structure, a great you know uh, uh, complexity, aromatic complexity, and I believe it's uh, you know it's a, a world-class uh, Syrah mm -hmm. in the region. And white wines? White, well, we have. Uh, uh, you know, as a winemaker, as an ologist, I prefer the red wines. But <laughs> we have just uh, one wine, uh, white wine, which uh, come from Sauvignon Blanc. Yes, uh, it's uh, it's a, I believe it's, it's a typical expression of the variety. And uh, we have another dessert wine, which is a blend with a Greek variety, Malaguzia, 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 uh, Malaguzia, and uh, Gewurztraminer. Yes. So this is a dessert wine. We could taste it uh, tomorrow. Greek wine is perhaps not the best known internationally uh, it needs to be better known perhaps. Yes. What do you think needs to be done or how do you think Greek wine can uh, be successful on the wine market? You know, it's a question of promotion uh, and uh, to show us what happens here in Greece now because mm -hmm. I believe that at least the well, last what do you think is happening in Greece now? Uh, the last year is revolutionary uh, years from, from Greece for viticulture and uh, uh, wine making uh, stuff in Greece and uh -huh. I believe that uh, the new generation comes with uh, a lot of no knowledge with new approach concerning the viticulture and the wine making and I believe that uh, I believe I really believe there's a huge potential in uh, in Greek uh, Greek, Greek uh, regions and uh, Greek wines. A last question then, uh, Alpha or wine estate? Why Alpha? Alpha because it's Greek. Everyone can realize that. It's, yes. a, it's an e easy to remember. You know, yes. I know that sometimes it's it's kind of marketing, we can say, but uh, I believe that uh, Alpha it's, it's a purely, pu purely Greek, Greek name. It's the beginning, it's the birth. Angelo Yatridis, uh, Alpha Wine Estate, thank you for being here with us tonight. You're welcome. Thank you.